Welcome back, everybody. We've got Batman 1 coming in about two weeks. And uh, yeah, I'm in a full gear. We're here to kind of dis discuss um, speculations as to the allow list and potentially talk about the fragile market and what the team really needs to do to turn this around. Um, so yeah, let's get going. So just as a disclaimer, um, I'm actually uh, an active Cal um, holder and user in the marketplace uh, in the DC NFT marketplace. It's one of the ones that I've um, concentrated on. Um, usually I've started from collecting Todd's and VV and I have about 20 uh, bat cows at the moment. And I'm an avid collector of uh, the stuff that I like. I buy what I like over at the marketplace. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I just uh, wanted to give you that introduction. And uh, yeah, let's get going with the with the video. So um, in about two weeks, well, uh, just as a backdrop, we've had the confirmation um, a few, um, well, a couple of weeks back. Um, and uh, one of these would be um, the uh, Batman number one confirmation is coming out in September 14. Now, um, as you can see um, on the video, on the slide I've just shared, um, this is a big deal. I mean, um, you know, the, the platform, which the DC NFT platform, if you don't know, uh, features an NFT called Batcals, which is the ultimate DC fan access token. There's about 11,544 of it. Um, and the user base is quite like a DC uh, focused. Uh, they're hungry to own these in the blockchain. Um, and uh, it's the next step in collecting, in my opinion. And uh, it's, it's just unlocked a lot of different experiences. I've met up with people that have the same interests in Park Row and uh, frequently talk to a few people online about our shared fandom for not just for the bad cows, but for the comics itself and just DC, everything DC in general. So there it is. Um, so yeah, uh, as you guys might know, uh, you know, it's on the Palm blockchain um, and Palm NFT has merged with Candy Digital uh, recently, which sort of has explained some of the delays recently. But um, enough about that. Let's let's just dive into the comics. So um, Batman number one, um, it's one of the most coveted physical pieces. Um, it's, it's even matched Superman one in sales. And uh, as you can see here, um, it's Batman's first um, issue, Batman, like the Batman series. And it's the first appearance of one of the most beloved, well, Batman's most popular villain, Joker. So it's been crazy. I mean, I've had, I've released a video before with, um, I was with the Palm team talking about uh, the Flash multi multiverse drop. And in the end of the video, I was like, when Joker? And then I just put that out there because I think we need a big villain to shake things up. Um, and I just never thought that it would come in this in the most important format, which is the, you know, DC comic format. And uh, not only um, is Joker in here, but Catwoman as well. So the culmination of these factors makes this one of the most important comic drops that this platform will ever produce in my opinion, I mean, I know it's making history and it's uh, the platform is trying different things, but uh, it's just one of those things that, um, you know, like it's it's just so momentous and we'll never get this back. So why am I releasing this video? I hope I hope the team would watch. I hope um, the team would listen. And uh, most of these ideas that I have has been culminated from a number of different people. Um, you know, uh, namely Jake, Rubius, Legacy, uh, ATL, everything, everyone else that's um, this had their had some sort of mind as to what these allocations should be. Um, so yeah, this is a once in a lifetime, and you know, if the, if there was any leeway, I mean, the decision could be made, and this video could just you know be pushed to one side. But I hope that um, you guys would be able to tell me. Um, even after this video airs, what you guys think this should be. And then this has been a heated Twitter debate already. So 
yeah, I mean, again, without further ado, I'm just going to go into the, uh, the video. So the first scenario um, would be uh, the worst case scenario, uh, in my opinion, is um, <laughs> which could cause riots. It's about the same. So, you know, things could stay the same. It could just be 10% early access. So what does that mean? Early access is the uh, cows get uh, an exclusive queue for the number of allocations that's been allocated to the cows, uh, sorry, for the comics in question. Now, they've said expanded access. What does expanded access actually mean? Now that's remaining to be seen. Um, the worst case scenario is cows get 10%, up to 30%. Anything along those lines, to me, would be disastrous. Um, I could just see the same kind of fiasco that Superman one induced where cows didn't have um, early access. And why is that important? Well, back cows is supposed to be the ultimate DC fan access token. Well, this is Batman's uh, realm. And this is this comic is arguably as important as DC 27. So if you have a bat cow, you've been holding that bat cow. Um, yes, you have been compensated for loads of different things. But how about this? I mean, and you don't get the chance to actually mint one of the comics that are this is actually important for a Batman one fan, for a Batman fan. Um, it's gonna it's gonna get bloody in my opinion. So these new users, quote unquote, um, will sell to the existing holder base, which has no rewards at the moment. I um, mean, they drain the liquidity from the marketplace. Um, Another po possible scenario without any reward system in place, I'm talking skill-based rewards and, yes, um, collection-based rewards. Uh, they'll just be sell-offs to Grails, including Superman 1 and Batman 1, and potentially cows could be sold off as well because, well, why do we need a cow if we're, you know, it's a long shot, we'll be able to get some of these comics. Um, so, yeah, that's, to me, the worst-case scenario, and I hope this doesn't happen. The decision could have been made, but... Uh, guys, shout it on the rooftops. Um, every post that you make, every noise that you make, the team will be listening, will be watching. And as we've seen from the previous uh, multiverse drop, some of the decisions have been made last minute. Um, so I believe we still have time. So yeah, if you if you don't want this to happen, guys, you need to tell us what you need and what you want. So to me. Um, Flipping from the worst case scenario, for me, the best, one of the best case scenarios is 3000 editions. So why is that? So 3000 editions is the same as uh, Superman number one. And um, if we make this 100% uh, cowl access, now let me explain why. So this is Batman's ultimate comic, as I said. Um, there's no whales that's, that's you know, um, favored, you know, uh, there's about 6,800 holders. So around about 40% of, um, you know, four out of 10 uh, cow holders will get one. So that's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not too bad. Um, and if we have put this here is um, they have the statistics. So anyone who's already voted because the voting is done, um, so if we say the, the engagement, if they say they look at the engagement rates and go, okay, those who've, who's actually voted on the legacy cal with an 80% rate, you guys get the first 24 hours and your account gets selected. Now, why do I say that? Well, out of the 6,800, I'm not saying this is true or not, but how many of them have multiples? Now, there's been a survey that's been conducted and people have an average of actually just one cal. I think it's something at 1.4 where you can't have 0.4 but i'm thinking a lot of the active community members have you know their other halves and if their other halves vote too congratulations and based on the engagement you get an allow list now that's the first 24 hours so that's you know no rush there's no like 30 minute window or anything like that you get a nice chance to actually mint one and um yeah, and then the rest goes to the other cows, one per account, obviously in cow. And um, this is going to look like there's not going to be anything for the public. I'm be very surprised if that doesn't mint out with just the cows. Uh, we'll see. 
So the benefits for that is, yep, it's, it's scarce. It, it's got the same level playing field with Batman 1. Why is that important? Well, to me, it's important because, um, you know, like I said, um, the Grail stat, uh, status comics is agreed to be DC 27, eight, which is the first appearance of Batman, Action Comics 1, Superman 1, and Batman 1. So those four comic books, if the president's been set, it's 3,000 editions. Now, um, you can say that this 2000, uh, the recent Bane drop had 2000 editions minted out and that was it. So this tells you, um, that's the appetite, appetite, even for something as significant as Bane. I know it's not what, what, worth much in real life, the comic, but, um, when we're talking, um, you know, if there's no monetary incentive, Yes, there's only around 2,000 people that mint, uh, 2,000 copies that mint. So it's two per account. So it might just even be if everyone got two, it's 1,000 people that mint. So, um, yeah, the drawback is not, you know, not a lot of people will get one. Now, um, I go back to the saying, um, if everybody gets what they want, then would that really be something that's desire that will end up being desirable? Now, um, there is an argument and I will go into other arguments, but for this particular one, this to me is it respects the bear market. It respects the grail four grails, um, edition size. And it also prioritizes the back house, not only the back house, but people that are actually engaging voting without any, you know, they didn't know that they were going to get rewarded, but it's nice to get your pay, you know, to get your, uh, your fandom rewarded this way. So, um, yeah, let's move on to the next one. And yeah, again, like I said, it's one of the best ones I, that I know that I'll be very, very happy with. So this one's been, um, uh, idea has been submitted by Jake. Uh, it's 5,000 editions, which is kind of similar. Like, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's very common in, in, uh, this current bear market, uh, like deep bear market with saturation and, you know, you know, with the novelty for us being pretty much gone. Um, but 5,000 editions is it's something that we've seen in uh, the DC NFT marketplace and on Vivi as well. So this is actually a good scenario as well, because with 50% cows only access, that's 2,500. That's almost the same as 3,000 as earlier. And then the public gets an, an equal round. And as you can see here, so first 24 hours is for the cows. And then the rest is the public. Uh, and yes, you know, like if the mints matter for most people, they have the most desirable mints, including the, I don't know, the publishing year mint and the you know, first mints would go with cows anyway. So, and as they do mostly, but with 50%, you know, uh, the first 2,500 goes to cows. So it rewards the cows and it's fair to the new users. Again, get skeptical about that, but um, as you know, the new users, New users should have been here, but you know, uh, they shouldn't just arrive with grails and you know to pump it, uh, well, to just dump it on the existing holders. So, it's skeptical that it's still um, mass adoption might come, it might not come, but it's all up to the team and how they execute this project. I'm very, very bullish still. Um, again, this isn't a cow video. This is a this is a Batman one video. Uh, drawbacks, you know, it's still going to be significantly more than the Superman one supply and um, liquidity is going to be drained potentially in markets some more because half of the supply might be, you know, just used to sell and uh, the money's taken out. And uh, yeah, and we're if we're talking like if it's 1.6 times more, like, you know, than Superman one, well, um, you know that 2000 editions more that's that's a lot you know that's that's really that's we're talking like in real life uh is there 1.6 times more batman ones than superman one well i don't think so you know it's close to similar so um again you know to me this is still a good scenario if this ever happens i won't be unhappy and uh yeah this will you know, uh, yeah, for me, you know, get to know the queue system. If the queue system stays the same, 
um, then get to know the uh, the queue system. Uh, just you know, ask VV Vault for it. Um, but you know, if there is a way to just get skipping in the queue um, when you're a public edition minter or a cow minter. But to me, this seems very, very you know, justifiable and reasonable. I won't be unhappy if this ever happens. So this one, uh, 7,500 editions, it's, we're getting into the realms of edition sizes. Uh, it's almost, you know, two and a half times more than Super, Superman 1. Now, um, I put here the, it's quite complex, this one, but bear with me. But basically, uh, the first 24 hours, one per account and account. And then the next 24 hours would be anyone who has a multiple of a cow will get a half multiplier per cow. So basically, you need two. If your first cow is used to mint the first one, you need two more to mint an extra one. And anything, any more. So, like they say, two, four, six. So, you need seven cows basically to mint the maximum. Now, why is that important? Uh, so this one will cap actually, will actually cap whales because some whales have over 70 um, bad cows. So what this would mean is uh, this this would potentially mean that um, it will remain that the distribution will be fair. And, uh, you know, if there's anything, so there's 6,800 unique cow holders pretty much. So everyone will get one if they want one. Uh, they, you know, decide to mint. Well, let's just say six thousand people mint. You know, let's say there's eight hundred people like that's inactive. That's totally missed this like twenty four hour window, which bonkers, by the way. But let's say that happens. So that leaves fifteen hundred for the public. Oh, sorry, fifteen hundred for the multiple cow holders. Now, if you capped it by three, who has multiple? If the average is one, let's say there's seven hundred taken out. That there's another seven fifty. 800 for the public if it's 75 that's really good so this this means every cow gets one multiple holders get rewarded somewhat now obviously this doesn't favor multiple holders too much but it it doesn't it doesn't you know they get scraps but at least they get something um but obviously the, the drawback is there's going to be two and a half times more supply than superman one but you know what do I care? Not really, because I want as many of these bad boys I want. I'm a Batman fan, and to me, this is a more, uh, to me, I want this more than um, Superman 1. But yeah, like I said, uh, refer back to the 3000 editions earlier, because that has an equal footing. What they could do, um, as I, I discounted, say, is make the legendary and epic editions as rare as the 3000 editions. So was it 150? And uh, was it? 250 and 150 uh so 250 for epic and 150 for rare i'm down for that um so yeah the next one then is uh if we're gonna go down that path this is to me my uh, my ultimate dream so uh if it's ten thousand editions now one per cal except that's really in palm so if you guys don't know that's really in palm all hold around potentially around 1500 cows. So if they don't get the chance to mint one per cow, that's left most cow holders we will to feast and mint one per cow. And, you know, they can even increase the price up to 29.99 because we'll pay that. And uh, that's a good money maker for, for DC anyway, and the uh, candy and palm. So, and then if there's anything left over then the public could have it, so to me, this rewards the cows and the cow holders the most. Um, there is no reward system for bad cow holders at the moment. And um, I've had confirmation that from major whales that yes, you know, if this ever happens, then that means that, you know, they'll, um, they'll buy more because, um, you know, they have the shot to get AC1. They think that AC1 might work that way. But in my opinion, this is Batman 1. It's a different story. It's not even DC27. Um, I still refer back to the 3000 edition count. But to me, this will be the ultimate um, prize and reward for a Batman fan. Um, let's leave the 3000 editions perhaps for 20, DC27 and AC1. 
uh, we could definitely go down 10,000 editions at this point. And like Eddie Scan said, you know, make the legendary and epic scarce and um, give us a chance to feast. So um, just to finish off the video, uh, there's eight months left um, for the two year roadmap. Now, this is an open ended project now. This two years is the minimum guarantee. Um, as it stands, you know, we're in a very deep bear market and with a lot of sell offs. And uh, it feels like Batman 1 is just a band aid to the current um, sentiment in NFTs and crypto at the moment. Uh, it's 29th of August as I've recorded this. So, what's really been expected by the, by the cow holders and the users, you know, of the platform? Well, Overdrive, uh, we know that um, Overdrive is one of the ones that. Um, all the fandoms, uh, what do they mean? What do they do? Burning of uh, fandoms. Uh, there has been a cow that's been burned, but that's an honorary cow that's been burned, um, you know, for a different issue. But they could show that with, with self-custody, which is the next point, they have that to deliver as well. You know, with, with the self-custody, you can send it to a burn wallet. So even burning will, you can you can actually burn a cow. Um, so but anyway regardless we need to see overdrive we need to see self-custody um for the merchandise it's been promised as well i would love a physical one of one cow per you know like let's say you've got 20 mine like if i could order 20 one of one dc um collectibles then to me without any utility that would be the ultimate like i'll just store it and keep it um and it will increase the collectability so much having that having that access to create this cow and only only if it's been destroyed or whatever special circumstance could you request another one or maybe not maybe once it's delivered to your address that's the only cow that's ever going to exist so you better take care of that physical um so that's really really interesting um and yeah just as a wish list guys um you know uh, i wish there's some we we'll get to see more of the cows so what does it what does the attachments mean um you know with these with this earpiece uh, what does that mean what does that do for the story um it's been um you know uh promised in spaces before like harley quinn having harley quinn trait will unlock something in the harley you know harley collection never happened one of the things that didn't happen now um i made a little prank about the robin red trait getting access now to me um each of the cow traits point to some sort of comic book trait, uh, co comic book history. So I hope that in the future, if your cow somewhat points to the um, co current comic book, you'll be allowed listed for it. That'd be amazing. Any alpha that you could give by, by holding that cow, it could represent your DC fandom. You can get access to like, you know, alpha from the upcoming movie, James Gunn movies, or anything like that would would really set the market on fire. Now you turn on market offers and cow trades per floor. Yeesh, now we're talking. Um, so yeah, yeah, no, that was it. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please do let me know what you want for Batman one allocation for the eight months that's remaining and for the bat cows themselves. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. This is Prez signing out.